Oltar gadgonod kool, Vool malgi oltaad, Gootaen. Foom! It's Foom! Yes! Or going to go in a huge blocking rock! Yes! Yeah, Ominous is right! Root says to put on your sliding. Here goes! I don't like this! Aha! Exhilarating! <clears throat> That's a lot of death to It's a good thing my skin is so resistant! Foom, you seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Melt that one, too. And that one. How did you know your guns would work back there? They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I... didn't. So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yep. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. That ain't water. I can't jump. It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said? Magical. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltinator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hot Guns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope, no. no. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. Huh. Yeah! Heave it, Groot. I am Groot. Thereabouts. Good 
Good thing that rock tried to murder us, or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. That's not how it works. It's when people I care about are in danger, and then I get this feeling. Oh, I get it. It's like uh, faith energy. No, it's not like. Relax. I believe you. trying to communicate. Please don't. Star-Lord! See? <laughs> Star-Lord! Is it just me or did he sound a little irritated? No, nope, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. I imagined Foo would sense our arrival and rush to face us. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. I am Groot. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. I am Groot. Ah! It burns! Groot says they've got corrosive spores. They don't get that close. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. With all these exceptional beasts, it's a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move her home. Groot says those plants deserve it. Keep it up! Max is trying to get warm. Another plant falls to Captain Eagle. Hellscape. I think they're made of sturdier stuff than that. You think Golden Boy is getting tortured right now? More likely, Warlock is torturing Raker. Golden One is formidable. I think she meant with his mouth, Greg. Okay, you're just killing weeds at this point. You 
got this one! No doubt these beasts serve as sustenance for food! Not today, they don't! I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. So much for not holding a grudge! end up on the menu. Oh, 
monkey's got the jump on us! We are on their turf! Time of a new one! I thought you'd never ask! Guys, huddle up! Victory will soon be ours, my friends, uh, unless they send reinforcements. If they do, we'll have to move like lightning. Hit them from behind. But what if they're too fast? We'll need another plan. Hey, hey, hey! Every battle comes with some kind of curveball. But trying to predict where it's gonna land only makes things worse. Relax. It's easy to overthink when things get tense, but if we focus... We can hit him hard. Who's with me? Let's do this! Feel him! Slash him, Gamora! Make like... My butt still hurts from that slide! That's not used to it by now! We killed their leader. They should leave us alone now. Or seek revenge. Think that wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. All right, group, give me a boost. Bow, yay high. Yay is not a unit of measurement. Group knows what he means. We're using this ship for shelter? Screw them, they're dead. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. More hostiles. Maybe it's just a nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. Ooh, maybe it's a barbecue. What's barbecue? What? You guys have never had barbecue? Charbroiled burgers, grilled steaks, Baby back ribs? Why would you consume the ribs of an infant? Told you Terrans were barbaric. No, it's not. Trust me. You guys have got to try it. Yeah, I'll pass on the eating babies thing too. I never truly believed this day would come. What, freezing your nips off with a bunch of us? Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Is all this foom? Undoubtedly. there. No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for film. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. Still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, we 
You hear people talking about a promise of the matriarch to steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Meh. Dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah. Seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Um, any of you corpses mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. Here's hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? I think. You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day. Shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. It may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. All right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. Whoa! Hey, the ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! <laughs> Have you lost your fortune? Well, that takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up. Or how we're going to get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. You may be dead. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. Too bad that camp didn't have no like a can of anti-foom spray. Perhaps a copy of Fighting Fin Fang Foom Volume 3, Dragon Slaying Techniques and Strategies. Uh, somebody actually wrote that? <laughs> no. I invented an imaginary book with an exception. Verbose title in order to create levity. Hmm, excellent levity, Drax. Thank you. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these. I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead. There's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge a great beast. 
Fin Fang Foom! Come and face your death! What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our mettle! Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill, go! Uh, fin Fang Foom, it's... Nap time! <laughs> Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom! We're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Sitarki and shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. Blood thickens in anticipation of our great combat. Gross. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Groot. Groot's worried about the ice. If it'll hold Foom, it'll hold us. Maklu 4 is said to have a frozen core. Below the surface is layers upon layers of more ice. Spooked him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. A dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. I'm getting cold! I'm 
sure food will be happy to warm you up. Ah! Glorious rain of bitter will! Unleash me onto these fools! Oh, Looks fast. like you need a little help! We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. 
but we want to make it right. Uh, Quill. You murdered the Dragon Lord of Kakarandara! Two of us together. Lord Foom. The final harvest begins. Dead worlds screaming across space. We must go. Now. Someone needs to take a stand against the church. We could really use some help. You pay one debt, then create another? No, though I can kind of see... Enough. I will gather my forces. All right, let's go. Hellbender shall fight alongside us this day. After we bested Foom, Foom the Invincible. Maybe you found Drax's peanut butter and chocolate. We are on the path to destiny, my friends. I still can't believe we did it. We did do it, right? We sure did, and we got Mantis back. <sighs> but we lost Warlock. We'll need him to exercise the Magus once we shut down that ritual. So we bust him out of cult prison. I've done jailbreaks before, we all have. We still tracking them? <laughs> oh yeah, that thing ain't coming out easy. Good, then all we gotta do is get there on time and hope Lady Hellbender does too. Oh, she will, I'm certain of it. Alright, let's gear up people. Tie up any loose ends, take a pee if you have to, cause we're not stopping again. <clears throat> hey, Quill. Let me borrow your tools. Why? I need the focus. Come on. Do not drop that. Mantis? What happened on the Mantis after we left? Last time we saw you, things looked dire. It's a long story. We can talk about it after you do like Star Guy says and use the bathroom. I don't need to. Alright, but don't say I didn't warn you when church grandpa makes you do faith crunches. Wait, Raker's gonna do what? It depends. But at some point, someone says my name, and then there's a little bit of pee. Great, I did not want to know that. Oh yeah, little fuzzy. Maybe the little bit of pee is you. Nope. Aw, she says thank you for getting rid of Aiden Warsock. Apparently she likes me better. Uh, Adam Warlock? Yeah, him. She thinks I'm bleats. It translates weird. 
Mantis, I've got so many questions. I know, and I've got so many answers. Like, seize the means of production, or it's not just a rash, or yes, it is gluten-free. Uh, not the answers I was looking for, but I'm wondering about the questions. What questions? What happened on Lamentis after we left? You said some people would survive, but that doesn't fare super well for the others. Many of the elders died. They didn't resist the invasion, but they would never accept the promise. It isn't their way. I'm sorry. Don't be. Their sacrifice bought time for me and the Kotati to hide most of the others. They will emerge when the galaxy is saved. So you were able to hide them in the caves. Hope you told them to stay away from the fog. How did you convince Lady Hellbender to meet us on Maklu 4? You weren't even with us when we decided to go. Actually, convincing her to go after you wasn't hard at all. But convincing her to hear you out? Woo! That was tough. I had to get all creepy mystical and spook her with warnings about what would happen otherwise. You told her about the end of the universe. And she believed you? Oh, no. Not at first. But when I brought up all her precious monsters dying, she came around. Couldn't take that chance with her babies, you know? Well, I'm glad to have you with us. Oh, good, because you're not always glad. Why not? Well, sometimes I'm your ex-wife. What? <laughs> I think she's pulling your leg, Quill. It only ever happens the one time, but it's so funny. Hey, Rocket. Working on something? I'm always working on something. You're not listening to my tunes? No, you turned the music on. Then can I have my player back? Why? You already got music playing. Right, so you don't need the player to focus anymore. You might turn it off. Yeah, but... What part of I need to focus don't you get, Quill? What do you need to focus on so badly anyway? Something that might give us a way to get through the armada around Sacrosanct. Just in case Lady Skullsuit doesn't show up in time. Nice, what is it? You'll see. Be right there, you impatient flark snuffle. Really? Nothing at all? All right. Good thinking. Get the watering sorted out before we go. I am Groot. <laughs> I am Groot. <laughs> he looks so sad, swishing around in his robes. <laughs> what? What did what, he say? <laughs> Gro Groot wants to water the Grand Unifier. Oh, right. <laughs> the soaked Unifier? <laughs> the, the Grand Humidity? I am Groot. <laughs> 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 Quill, spar with me. <laughs> uh, I, I think I'll pass, Drax. I uh, don't want to get tired before the real fight. Tired? But this is the warm-up. Not a bad idea. We don't know what's going to happen when we get out of hyperspace. What if we get ambushed? That's what guns are for. Ugh, <sighs> guns. I think I preferred when you two didn't get along. Those moves are really going to impress Lady Hellbender. I do not need to impress her. Besting the great Fin Fang Foom is proof enough of my combat skills. Yeah, that would do it. I'm not sure Lady Hellbender was really impressed with how we handled that fight. You know, since we accidentally killed that dragon before Groot revived him. Would you not be impressed by a man slaying a dragon? Maybe if he does it without my help. Raker's going down this time, Gamora. I promise you. And I promise you, I'm getting Nikki out of there. No matter what. 
We will get her out. Together. Together. Oh, cute. That's from Maklu, right? Better not make toxic spores like those big ones in the forest. I wonder what would have happened if we hadn't hidden Cammy in there. No way we could have escaped after Drax locked us in. Now that's a knife. It is indeed a spectacular blade. Drax! Hey, I was just... There is no need to explain yourself, Peter Quill. Unlike the rodent, I do not mind when others are curious about my things. It's a really cool blade. With an equally impressive history. You recognize it? It belonged to Zatar the Unfinished. A great Katathian warrior king who led the first pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Wait... So you're saying this is basically Excalibur? I am unfamiliar with such a weapon. It's a mythical sword belonging to a famous Earth King. Then yes. I suppose you could say this is the Excalibur of my people. It is a symbol of a king and the great hunt he inspired for those seeking to regain a place in Ultath. So, this great hunt thing seems like a bigger deal than I thought. Did we mess it up for everyone by capturing Fin Fang Foom? What do you mean? Well, uh, its purpose is to regain entry into Katathian heaven and stuff, and now there's no Foom to, you know, send you there. Ah, uh, Peter Quill. There are many paths to Ultath. The pilgrimage to Maklu 4 is but one of them. Right. When Thanos murdered my family and destroyed my village, twice I chose the path of revenge. First I raised a small army of Katathian warriors. Even outnumbered, we cut our way through the Chitauri line and challenged Thanos himself. Wait, 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 wait. On Katath, you faced Thanos twice during the Galactic War? Yes. But I was not strong enough the first time. <laughs> strong enough to survive? Thanos allowed me and a few others to live. To set an example. Defeated and humiliated, the surviving members of my squad chose to make the pilgrimage to Maklu 4. But I could not. I continued to walk the path of revenge. Until you... You helped me put the ghosts of Hovat and Camaria to rest. To be fair, I had a lot of help. And yet you have given me a new purpose, Peter Quill. Seems my destiny was not in the mountains of Kakaranthara after all. But here, on this ship, with you. Zatar sounds like a hero of yours. King Zatar. And he is. Every Katathian warrior knows the story of his pilgrimage to Maklu 4. Why is he called Zatar the Unfinished, then? In the history of my people, a rival king attacked Zatar's lands, easily overwhelming his forces. Captured and broken, Zatar challenged the rival king to a fight to the death. But the conqueror refused, banishing him to a life of dishonor and disgrace instead. So King Zatar went to Maklu 4 to challenge the mighty Fin Fang Foom, and change his destiny. Well, that's... depressing. How is it depressing? Because he obviously failed. Fin Fang Foom's still alive and kicking, mostly. He did not fail, Peter Quill. King Zatar did not vanquish Fin Fang Foom, it is true. But he did redeem himself in the eyes of his people. By dying? Not exactly a happy ending. By never giving up. A warrior only truly dies when he stops living. King Zatar proved that our stories, the records of who we were in life, 
are ours to shape. He could have died a coward who lost his place in Ultath, or he could do what I and many of my people believe he did, change the ending of his story. Well, I'm glad you're here with us now. I can't guarantee where our path will take us, but hopefully somewhere with lots of money and comfort. I do not have a doubt in my heart, Peter Quill, that we will have moderate success. I'll accept moderate. Gamora Zanhubri, you wish to practice hand-to-hand -hand techniques. It's still weird when you say my actual name. I am getting used to it. We've come a long way since murderous sorceress. Wasn't it what you were calling me back on my first mission with the team? Yes. At first I believed you had bewitched Peter Quill. I could see no other reason he would hire an assassin for a protection contract. Really? No other reason than magic? You could also have seduced him. He lacks mental fortitude in the presence of women. True. If I remember right, he spent most of that protection contract flirting with the waitresses. That's an understatement. Rocket seemed like the only one who knew what he was doing, and he did it in the most chaotic way possible. What did he do with the detonation charges he found in the ventilation system? If he hasn't used them yet, they'll probably be in a secret stash. So the rodent does have a stash after all. All right, not stopping again. Did I forget something? You do in most realities. Here goes nothing. Ah, no, scratch that. Here go the Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm gonna barf. looks twice as big now. Wrong. It's at least thrice as big. That's the biggest I've ever seen it. What now? Kill the lights, kill the engines, and wait for Lady Hellbender to show up. <laughs> We're sure she's coming, right? She is a woman of honor. A queen. She promised to gather her forces. And how long is that gonna take? Too long? No. We can't be too late. We gotta save the galaxy and Nikki. One way or another, we need to get in there and shut down that ritual. We can't take on a fleet that big. Little Fuzzy! Rocket, what are you doing, man? We need to get into Sacrosanct to disrupt the ritual, right? We all know we get killed out here. So, I'm gonna make a really loud distraction. My tunes! Yeah, I rigged it to blast your scuddy music across all channels. While the church is out looking for the source... We cut the engines and we flow silently right past them to board the Sacrosanct. Smart! Seriously? Fine. But we're getting it back as soon as we win. Now get back in here! Find a place to park. Your deception is working. Don't sound so surprised. We are so gonna get my music back once this is all done. Sorry, Quill. Chances are they're gonna blast it to pieces once they pin it down. Let's make sure this sacrifice counts. Can we not call it that? I know they're 
out there, but they can't hear us through the ship's hull. Yet you're still whispering. Because I don't want to be the one to flark it up if they can hear through. But they can't. Certainly if they could hear us. of the galaxy, stop hiding! The monster lords of Seknaf-9 hunger for battle! We're not hiding. We are sneaking. Because we need to get into Sacrosanct alive. Then we will slaughter as many as we can out here while you fight your way in. Eat, my children! Crack open their shells and feast upon the sweet meats inside! <laughs> this is so metal. All right, people, let's take advantage of a nice lady murdering spree. We're busting into Sacrosanct. That landing base are way in. I stole a lot of paint between here and there. Maybe we can blow past them. Risking. Make the most of this diversion! And hope we find- 